For your health, here at WUSA 9, part of our commitment to you is to bring stories and conversations of impact. Well, few things have more of an impact on our daily life than our personal health. Joining us now is Johns Hopkins surgeon, professor, and author of the New York Times bestselling book, Blind Spots, When Medicine Gets It Wrong. Dr. Marty McCary, good to have you with us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I wanted to dive right in because just help our audience understand why you felt it was really important to write the book. Well, Simone, we're seeing all these chronic diseases go up right in front of our eyes. Over the last 50 years, the population has gotten much sicker and much more medicated. We can't keep going down this road. Obesity and diabetes now affects half of our nation's children. Uh, we've got autoimmune diseases going up, cancer in young people. Uh, autism goes up by 14% every year for the last 23 years. And so we've got to ask ourselves, what are the root causes? Can we look at our poison food supply? Can we talk about school lunch programs, not just putting every child on Ozempic when they're overweight? I wanted to talk specifically about, too, you know, you, you spoke in the book about how we've gotten it wrong, essentially, in the modern era, specifically the food pyramid and the central role of gut health. And I'm curious what you saw in regard to that. We saw the medical establishment rally around this demonization of natural saturated fats. And what happened was we developed these big blind spots. Ultra processed foods became common. They're now 60 to 70% of the calories that a child will consume. Food ingredients, chemicals that are engineered to make food addictive, chemicals that are banned in Europe and Canada became common in our food supply. They're still banned in Canada and Europe, and they're still common in our food supply, things like food dyes and pesticides. If they're killing insects, what do you think they're doing to our gut? They are killing the microbiome bacteria. That is, the importance of gut health has been ignored as we've focused on the demonization of natural fat. And it turns out it wasn't even natural fat that was driving a lot of chronic diseases. It was the ultra processed foods and refined carbohydrates and chemicals that are driving a lot of it. I wanted to touch on this too, because in your book, you really explore the latest research on topics. We touched on gut health, but also childbirth, nutrition, longevity, and a whole host of other things. But you reveal some of the biggest blind spots of modern medicine. I'm curious though, is there anything that really surprised you, really jumped out to you? Well, I would say the central importance of gut health. But if you um, look at the story of hormone replacement therapy for perimenopausal women, it was demonized as a carcinogen. It was announced from the NIH 22 years ago that hormone therapy causes breast cancer. It turns out that even though the media ran with that headline, when the data were finally available two weeks after the announcement, there was no statistical increase in breast cancer or breast cancer mortality. Women need to know this because hormone therapy has tremendous heart benefits and it reduces osteoporosis and reduces cognitive decline and Alzheimer's risk. People need to know the truth about hormone replacement therapy and its benefits for perimenopausal women. So last question for you, and I think really important here, you've talked about increasingly we're seeing doctors go directly to the public to educate people. So how important is it to have an accessible civil discourse when it comes to, to helping people? Well, many of us are going directly to the public now to talk about what's been our in our blind spots in modern medicine. I got zero nutrition education in medical school, and that's, that's still pretty standard. And the little education people are getting has been written by the food industry with all of the healthcare corruption that we've had that's created the food pyramid. The government just came out with the food compass to replace it. It said that Lucky Charm cereal was healthier than a steak. We have got to get back to good science and get away from medical dogma. And that's why many of us are going directly to the public. It's why I wrote this book. All right, Dr. Marty McCary, quickly, where can people find the book? So it's available wherever books are sold. It's sold out on opening day, but Amazon just restocked this week. All right, appreciate your time and your expertise. And we look forward to talking to you again in the future. Thanks for having me. Thank you.